So today's uh, laboratory work dedicated to phonons, and we will build a uh, phonon inspection. Uh, and uh, for today, I propose uh, the next plan. Uh, in the first part of laboratory work, we will launch uh, relaxation, then SCF, and then uh, phonon calculations. Phonon calculations will take 20, 30 minutes. Uh, for me, it took uh, 20 something minutes for eight cores in a short uh, queue, so I think uh, that uh, you will experience the same time. And uh, during this time, during the time uh, they are calculating, uh, I will uh, give some uh, a short summary on phones and how we calculate them with, with quantum espresso. And then we will, we will um, discuss the results. Uh, Maybe we can try to do it in how in an hour and a half. Uh, okay. First of all, I propose you to uh, start the calculations. So here it is. You have uh, a folder lab fourteen, and in this folder you have three folders: relax, SF. So they are our common folders, and then phonons two to two. Phonons two to two is something new, and uh, I will. Um, explain later what is it. Uh, first of all, we should uh, just launch these calculations. We will work with uh, uh, diamond silicon because it's very simple. We, it's only two atoms in primitive unit cell and uh, it will take uh, not a lot of time. But even for this super simple structure, uh, phones, uh, we, we should we should uh, um, wait for a while to create for So um, we have 14. Uh, we are going to relax folder. We can see the file. See, we see relax. So it's just our common relaxation file. Um, but with some, but with some, with, with some uh, difference. Um, you see, here I uh, stated yetot code. So, so it's uh, our um, uh, threshold for energy calculations. Ten in the power of minus eight. Before we used minus five or minus four, and it was okay. But for phonons, we should uh, have very, very precise relaxations. Um, and fourth uh, threshold, ten minus six. Before it was minus four, because we also we had to uh, make we, we have uh, to uh, to make these forces as low as we can. And the beautiful thing about this uh, diamond silicon is that we can. Uh, that uh, um, uh, the forces are already very low; they are almost zero, uh, and uh, that's why it's easier as the situation. And also, um, yeah, we can start it, and then I will show you the um, uh, differences in SF. We can start start it by Q sub Q script. And it will take uh, yesterday when, when I tried it, it will, it took uh, like forty seconds for relaxation. So for eight atoms in short QA, it will take forty seconds for diamond. So it's I think it is already done. It's almost <laughs> it's almost done. I can see the output with the relax. Out. Mm. We all lost, yeah. Then we will move to a cell. So the first, uh, the first difference in uh, uh, relaxation, we should. Relax till the forces will be almost zero. As lower forces we have, uh, as better uh, phones will will uh, uh, will get. So it's like one minute to the relaxation. Um, because uh, if we have huge forces, uh, usually we will not get the appropriate uh, picture phones, and we will fail. It's really it's really very tricky thing. So sometimes really very um, very huge calculations they uh, uh, which took uh, a lot of time at the end 
uh, some people see that uh, it was no not relaxated enough and the uh, uh, results are just waste. And uh, I I was in this situation uh, and I thought, yeah, maybe I had to re relax it better. So relaxation is very important for funnels. Uh, now we should take the um, our new uh, structure parameters. I will go to result. I will see results. We see uh, silicon. We see relax out. Our our results, and I'll go to the to the end of this file where all. Uh, um, so what I need here, uh, I brought two sodium one. So this is our new sodium, and the atomic positions in new a lot they didn't change. So we we have the same atomic positions. It's just a primitive cell, primitive unit cell for diamond, which have only two atoms. And I copy this for SC. This. So now I move to SC folder. I want. Ah, yeah. I I have already copied it, but okay, maybe it changed slightly. So I will still paste it here. Yeah. We have the structure, and uh, what else is uh, important here? Convergence threshold. It's uh, a threshold uh, inside uh, one SF cycle. So one SF cycle will uh, stop when a uh, uh, difference in this electrons energy will be 10 minus 12. Before we used 10 minus 8. Uh, uh, till this time, in all our calculations, we used 10 in uh, the power of minus 8. And now we use minus 12 because it's, it's also important. This. Uh, uh, and I also use more key points than usual. You see, I took 12, 12, 12. The more key points, the better. But uh, of course, it exponentially grows uh, the time. 12, 12, 12 will be OK. I can launch a self. And it will take <laughs> also some uh, few seconds just. 25 seconds. 52. Yeah, you see, if uh, relaxation took one minute, yeah, and uh, here we increased uh, key points, and here we increased also the threshold. 27 seconds. Um, yeah, we got this calculation, minus 91 Rydberg is the energy, estimated SF accuracy, you see, uh, minus 14 Rydberg, but it's 8. So it's like uh, minus 13 something. Zero minus minus zero eight uh, in, my, in the power of minus, minus 13. So it's okay. So this this uh, uh, accuracy is okay. Ah, okay. And also I will show you uh, a very important thing in uh, VC Relax out. What, on what we think uh, about what we should care. We should care about the forces. It's the way. It's the most important thing. The forces and the pressure. Pressure is zero, so it's perfect. Pressure here is zero, and forces you see they are also zero. Uh, of course, they are not uh, zero as they don't exist. They exist, but they are too low, and uh, uh, quantum pressure can't. And quantum pressure is just approximated by zero. Uh, it says us that the forces is like minus thirty two. Rydberg, they, this is a force, and it's it's great. So this is that's why I choose this uh, uh, structure for demonstration because here we have our ideal situation, we have ideal um, atomic place places, and uh, almost zero forces and zero pressure, almost zero. Okay, it's like a lot of zeros and three, so we have almost zero pressure, almost zero forces. And so on. But uh, for more complex systems, we also will consider the systems. Here will be non zeros. And you should care. You should see that they should be as low as you can. So it should be like as more zeros as, uh, as you can get. 
Okay, and now we have this uh, folder phonons two to two. Here we have three um, types of input files. Uh, first file is ph is phonon, um, uh, then q2r and madin. Now we will use ph input and then we also will proceed to another input and, and I will explain you in some theoretical part um, uh, what they do. Uh, but before, what should we do? We should copy uh, data from a SF folder to this folder because as in our uh, in all our calculations, like in Ben's calculations, DOS calculations, uh, Fermi surface calculations, we need uh, this data, this electronic density created in SF uh, part to uh, proceed to uh, more advanced calculations. So I just copy this folder, silicon, I had to calculate silicon safe folder and uh, XML, silicon XML. So this is very important data to files. Folder silicon safe and silicon XML. And we have this uh, uh, file. So we should go to this folder, phonons to two. Uh, here I should change the script because, uh, uh, yeah, it was for my Dean because I stopped at this. You should change it to ph. So we have new, we have new uh, module ph uh, phonons. CPH in uh, and the CPH out. Just the three things. And PH, what's it, the diffusion file? PH, PH dot X. Yeah, it's new model. We used PW, plane waves, uh, and uh, we also used bands, uh, proj WC, projected uh, wave functions. And here is Ponon's model. This is new model. And the uh, time uh, it's like one node, eight uh, cores, just not to um, overweight the QA, and 59 uh, minutes ju just to be in short uh, QA. And it, it will be enough for uh, silicon, it will be enough. So I've uh, started it, and uh, I just want to be sure that it works well, so I will check ph out you can also check it by tail tail minus f yeah it works representations models it here will be a lot of new information but we just had to wait till it will be finished so what about the salary i hope that uh, all of you have seen this picture or um uh, similar pictures about phonons and I think that you you know uh, what is it but I will make uh, I will shortly remind you what is it so uh, we will start from one dimensional uh, chain of uh, atoms each atom uh, uh, each atoms uh, are the same they are similar and we have uh, the same distance between them a distance a and each of them each of them uh, characterizes by uh, some coordinate un, un plus one, un plus two, and so on. And this uh, tension between the uh, on the spring, so we say that uh, these balls uh, they are connected with some springs, and this is uh, our tension on the to the spring J. So it's uh, it's just a common uh, classical physics problem: the spring, the balls, and some distance between these balls. Then we distort them. Then we distort. Then we uh, make small distortions. We move this uh, this ball atom somewhere here. This somewhere here, uh, and they will have some uh, displacement. So uh, the energy of undistorted structure was like uh, I distort uh, and this structured chain was n um, multiplied by phi. A phi is the energy of 
one this system it's like spring plus ball and n the number of this uh, uh, atoms of the balls in the chain then we made all these displacements u n u n plus one u n plus two and we got uh, how we can calculate it so we we can take this uh, f a function it's some function some function and we can uh, apply Taylor expansion for this function. So in Taylor expansion, that just in definition, we will have uh, these terms. And here are uh, the uh, difference between the coordinates. For example, this have coordinate u n plus one, u n coordinate I have the difference, and the difference will be displacement of one uh, atom related to other atom. Uh, then in the uh, Taylor expansion formula, we will have some derivative. Uh, this will be derivative uh, by this function on uh, this coordinates, and this will be some uh, uh, some constant, some some force constant. And we have such this formula for distorted system. It's also rather classic because we, we have classic system. We have classic formula. Uh, then I can just rewrite it. I can say that okay, this will be this term. It will be some. Uh, I will call it some harmonic, uh, um, uh, some uh, harmonic term because it's uh, just uh, uh, harmonic uh, movement of this all the, all this uh, balls. And uh, I will say that J is the second derivative of phi on U of phi of this uh, energy function on U the coordinate the displacement. So it's like J. And this is Hooke's law. It's displacement x x uh, squared, and it's just uh, spring uh, constant. This is this is just the uh, Hooke's law uh, applied to this to this chain. It's also classic physics. Uh, then I can uh, if it's uh, harmonic motion, I can uh, uh, use the formula, the uh, typical formula for harmonic motion. Um, and uh, write uh, the equation, the uh, Newton equation for movement. So here it will be like m a, a accelerate acceleration. Here it will be like uh, derivative of this harmonic energy, and uh, I will uh, uh, make this derivative, and I'll get that um, um, the sum of forces applied to each atom because m a m on acceleration. It's the sum uh, sum of forces. Uh, it will depend only on three coordinates: of coordinate of this atom u n, of coordinate of next atom u n plus one, and coordinate of previous atom. And uh, with this formula, we should go for for each. So we should uh, change this n from uh, zero to n to big n to uh, to go for uh, for each for uh, for all, all, all the chain. And uh, for this harmonic motion, we can uh, uh, calculate the frequency, and it will be um, some dispersion frequency because here we get this k wave, wave vector. Uh, so it will be like two p divided by a this wave, wave vector. Uh, but in general, it will be some k. It will be some. Uh, uh, it will be some vector. So if we have. Uh, if we have wave vector, so we can uh, tell, uh, we can speak about uh, dispersion, and uh, this is what we will build today. We will build phonon dispersion because we have some uh, frequency on k. And um, what about the uh, so, uh, what about the plot? We can plot it. We can plot this frequency. Um, uh, the uh, frequency is dependent on k. And we'll get this. Uh, we'll, we'll get this plot. Uh, this is from uh, from previous term. I, I wanted to uh, remove it, but I thought that uh, I will. Uh, I have to. I had to draw it again. Um, this is just a brilliant zone. I just marked. Uh, I just marked first brilliant zone. It's like a brilliant zone for phonons. Uh, we can. Uh, what the idea was for brilliant zone? It's a uh, analogous of unit cell, but in a reciprocal cell. Uh, and uh, we have this analogous for this uh, uh, chain, this one-dimensional chain. It will be like p divided by a minus p divided by a 
borders of brilliant zone zero here and we see these two branches two bands uh one band and another band which goes uh, from zero from our gamma point the zero is gamma point is the center of our primitive one dimensional brilliant zone uh and we we see these two branches in in the very in the in the very very simple case is the case of this uh chain then we can uh make uh, um slightly more interesting situation uh slightly more realistic when we have two tapes or two types of uh, balls two types of atoms it's like m small and m big two two types of atoms uh two uh, two uh, spring constants between them g uh, big and uh, small g, g uh, and we can uh, uh, do by analogy uh, but by now analogy i'll get the energy of this uh, uh, springs like uh it's delta x for uh this and this so you see is relative relative uh, relative displacement for big and for small atoms for neighbor for neighbor atoms and here is like un and previous small atom we have these two uh, terms now because we have two constants two spin constants we have two motions we have two harmonic motions for two type of atoms for big atom for small atom and now we have this uh equation it also calls secular secular equation uh Секулярное рівняння українське секулярне або вікове ще рівняння, як називається. Я зараз не дуже знаю, чому вікове, але якось таке. Uh, so it's it's uh, analogy to this. So this is the question. Here we have only very, very simple uh okay, rather simple function, but here we have this uh, equation and we should solve it. And when we uh, solve it, we just get these two uh variants of omega of our frequency <laughs> with plus this, this huge term and minus this huge term it's it's, it's all, all, all classic so this is all just classic uh, uh classic physics and we have two branches one branch branch goes from zero to border of brilliant zone p divided by a is a part of brilliant zone and another will be here so we have these two branches this branch as you already know calls acoustic branch and this is optical branch uh and uh, the difference that this acoustic branch uh the um equations uh they are very uh, similar to sound propagation in uh, uh crystals because it's phonons because phonon is just displacement of atoms it's it's some waves of uh, displacements uh that propagating in, inside the crystal and optical branches they they code so because um for quantum system uh we can um for quantum system we can uh, um describe a lot of optical properties like dielectric constants with these models so some uh, uh, optical properties they are dependent on this uh, optical uh, branches or uh, they also quote uh, high high frequency edge because this is high frequency you see it's frequency it's low frequency and it's high frequency uh, branches they are all optical and what about ab initial calculations so it was classical physics and now we add some quantum physics to uh, uh and uh mm, this is Schrodinger equation from last uh, uh term if you remember I explained you about born Oppenheimer approximations and uh, the idea of born Oppenheimer approximation was that we can say we can uh divide um Schrodinger equation into two parts one part for electrons and one part for ions then we say that ions they are very slow they're huge and slow and that's why we can neglect it but here it's very important because ions this is what creates this phonons so for phonons we should uh, return to this neglected previously neglected part this is it so this is a sharing equation for ions uh, which was neglected all other months as we are um, doing this calculation and now it's crucial thing 
uh, here is just some kinetic energy, some potential energy, and uh, P function, phi, P function, function for this uh, ions. Uh, here is Hamiltonian. For this, it's just Hamiltonian for uh, all our side. It born open game Hamiltonian. What I just told you, uh, kinetic energy for electrons. It's uh, uh, interaction between energies uh, between electrons. Uh, we approximated by Hartree Hart term term in a DFT. This is uh, some kind of external potential. Uh, it means that uh, uh, our electrons they interact with uh, ions. Here is huge R is ion and small R is electrons. And here is energy which we get from this from this uh, uh, part. So it's like ion energy, nuclear energy N. Uh, so now we have the whole the whole equation with ions. The thing we neglected. And it what at what condition? Our system will be in equilibrium. Uh, so we have a lot of these atoms. They uh, in some constant mode. We want equilibrium of the system. We can achieve it by uh, reducing the forces acting of atoms to zero. This is what we are doing by relaxation. So by our relaxation, we do this. Uh, we uh, try to achieve this condition. Condition for equilibrium state uh, that all forces acting on all ions should be zero. We can calculate it by just uh, like derivative from E from this energy uh, st state uh, ground, ground state energy by R by uh, coordinate of uh, each ion, uh, and this is what we are doing by relaxation. This is how relaxation uh, they are uh, in the in this scheme in this in this following scheme, and then by achieving this uh, uh, forces condition, we can uh, we can create the same. A uh, secular equation here is yeah you see this this was equation okay let's start from uh, from here is this is equation for one dimensional this is equation for one dimensional but with two types of atoms this is equation so here is some matrix here is some vector of displacements at and for uh, quantum system we will have this equation so we will have some equation. And this is matrix of this equation. So uh, uh, in this matrix, we will have this term, it's second derivative. What is it? How do you think? What is it? If, if I will take this second derivative from the energy by uh, R and by R, by two different R's, what it will be? What physical entity? It will be some, uh, it, it is so called interatomic con force constants or elastic constants. Because uh, so it will be just this thing, J, this is it, here is. It's, uh, so we, we can imagine that all atoms is a crystal, they are bonded by the springs with this elastic constant, constant G or, or, or J big, J small. And we have a lot of this constants, yeah, because we, we, because we have a lot of atoms. And uh, all this uh, elastic constants, they are here in this, uh, uh, in this matrix. And uh, this is so cold. So when I add this uh, ion, uh, ions masses, this is so called dynamical matrix. So when you changed uh, your script, it was Madin. Yeah, it means dynamical matrix. Is if we will expand this name, so we will also uh, calculate this dynamical matrix. And just uh, um, and here is here are just uh, frequencies. So to get the frequencies, we should solve this equation. It's determinant of this uh, uh, matrix should be equal to zero. This is how we get uh, from uh, from quantum equations. This is how we get these frequencies. And then uh, how it is uh, just few words how uh, it is realized in um, quantum espresso because I will uh, uh, tell it in more details next time and. Uh, uh, yeah, it's interesting that uh, previous lecture by Evgen Petrovich Lenin, it was about uh, uh, perturbations, and this is some beginnings of density uh, perturbation theory, density electronic density perturbation theory. So it's some it's something above 
the DFT. So it's DFT, a DFT based theory, but with some uh, new things. It's per perturbation theory. Um, why perturbation? Because, because we need to uh, shift some atom. If we had to shift the ion to get the phonon, to, to get this phonon, phonon wave. And how we can calculate it? So let's say here is the coordinate of some ion, of some atom in some unit cell, Ri. And uh, I want not to see just small unit cell. I want to see the whole crystal. Uh, I have somewhere uh, zero, zero, some zero point to just to create it. And I say that uh, this vector, coordinate vector for ion, it consists of three parts. So it consists of the coordinate of ion, Re, in the unit cell number L. So here is RL, it's a coordinate of ion I in the unit cell number L, because we have a lot of unit cells. Then inside this unit cell, uh, it occupies some state as just some coordinate, it just some coordinate. Uh, and uh, it was shifted by U from this place. So the atom, it was shifted by some very, very small displacement U from his place S in the unit cell num with number L, because we have a lot of unit cells, because infinite number of L uh, unit cells. This is our new coordinate for ion. Then using this new coordinates, we can calculate this force constants. So in our uh, model, it means this. So we can uh, get this force elastic force constants, elastic constants, we can get from this equation. So I should uh, take the energy and uh, use second derivative to uh, one coordinate of one ion and coordinate to another ion. And I'll get some set of this interatomic forces in real space, in real space. You also maybe notice that we have file Q2R, Q2R. Q2R, it means, uh, Q, it means um, reciprocal space and R, it means real space. So we had to uh, move this constant from real space to reciprocal space because we are working in a reciprocal space. We can do it by uh, Fourier transformation. So this is uh, Fourier transformation is a, a common operation how we can take from uh, uh, real, how we can go from real space to reciprocal space. We just add uh, exponent, then we, uh, we we add exponent to, to this thing, then we have the derivative and we get some force, this force, uh, interatomic forces or elastic constants inside in, in a, a reciprocal space, so in our working space. Yeah. So, tau s, you have done. Uh, well, ah, tau s, uh, uh, what do you mean? Uh, ah, tau s, tau s, it, it just, you, you see, it, uh, we have some very, very huge, uh, some very, very, uh, maybe I can, I can draw. So it maybe it will, this picture will go to next year. Um, so you have all the space, yeah? And in this space, you have uh, some unit cells and uh, uh, all the space is filled by these unit cells. Somewhere you have the, you have your zero uh, point. And you see that, for example, you have some atom here in this unit cell. You, you take the, the vector, this is Ri, yeah, this Ri to which uh, Rl, it means uh, the unit cell, then it goes to tau s, it's the coordinate of atom inside this unit cell. Yeah, and us, it means the shift. Yeah, okay, maybe I will not say this uh, picture because it's not. You see, we, we go to the same matrix, but in uh, um, reciprocal space. So we, uh, we moved, we have uh, this matrix here. Uh, in real space, then we, uh, by Fourier transformation, we moved from this uh, interatomic forces to interatomic forces in uh, reciprocal space. Then we made 
the same ion coordinate, but in a brilliant zones. So in reciprocal space also, it's some, uh, the same coordinate you see. Uh, but with uh, uh, exponent. Exponent means that we moved to some uh, uh, reciprocal space. And we have uh, this matrix, which will be solved and we will get Q, uh, we will get uh, omega, this frequency, dependent on Q. And here we have very important thing, Q. This thing which uh, you saw in the title of your folder, two to, for instance, two to two, it was like, Q mesh density. We have K points. Now we will have Q points. So Q here is a um, propagation vector. So it's some uh, vector in the, um, so we have our crystal. Then we move some atoms and we move them in some direction. And this vector Q, it shows the direction in which we should propagate it. And uh, the uh, denser mesh, um, Q mesh we have, the better because uh, uh, we have more directions, we have more possibilities to propagate, uh, to, to send our phonons, and uh, that's why our correlation will be um, better. It will, it, will, it will be closer to reality. Yeah, and now uh, if you say that uh, you have finished the calculation, what we have done, we made relaxations. So relaxation is the part to a uh, very crucial part to establish the equilibrium, to establish the force equilibrium. Because all forces, because if you have a non-relaxed structure, we will have some forces that can be rather huge. And these forces, they will be, they, uh, they will uh, make huge distortion to our calculation. Because we are working with forces, you know, all this, all this fun and stuff. It's like uh, work with forces. Then we made self consistent calculations, also very precise to get electronic density. And with this electronic density, we should go to full on spectral calculation. So what made here in this, uh, what was made, what have you done here in pH, input pH? So uh, prefix is is very common thing. It's just name. Uh, the R two pH. It means threshold for phonons. We had uh, threshold uh, because inside this phonon calculation, we also will have a self calculations. We also will have a self calculation uh, for each propagation vector, and uh, um, its accuracy of each SF cycle. We had twelve in minus 12 in SF, now we have minus 14. So it's better. Uh, then just mass uh, of uh, LD, it means that we can add uh, pass. Then we will uh, add pass uh, to uh, Q pass. It will be not K pass, it will be Q pass uh, to our calculations. A mass, it means atom mass. It's also a common thing from uh, from SF. And here is the mesh on phonon wave vectors of that Q vector. And how this is how we can calculate them. So we have some um, we have some direction of propagation, and we send the uh, phonon in that direction, and uh, we calculate uh, forces in that direction in which this phonon goes. And uh, the direction direction states by this Q vector. So, uh, and uh, two to two, it means ju just uh, in how much pieces we will uh, cut uh, the vectors for X, Y, and Z to make calculations. Like zero, one, here it will be, if I take two, it will be like, uh, and Q1, it will be two, yeah. So I minus one, it's like zero and one. I goes from zero to two. So it will be, it will be zero and one, uh, uh, um, one divided by two. Yeah, it's a mesh. And filled in, it's the file where our dynamical matrix will be, will be stored. 
dynamical matrix, I mean this thing, this dynamical matrix in uh, here, this dynamical matrix. And then we will take this dynamical matrix. We will get it in a reciprocal space, the dynamical matrix from pH. Then we should apply on next step. We should apply something which calls uh, Q to R. This, this is uh, um, our file which calls Q to R. It means that we will take uh, that forces from uh, reciprocal space, the dynamical matrix. And we, in, and we transform them to real space because we are working in real space and uh, we want to see these frequencies in real space. Uh, this is fourth step to uh, to make it. So we will do the step right now. You see in the step, it's, it's very simple. It's just post-protection. Uh, you should... Uh, um, state this fl frc it's just like file for forces you see i call it c k two 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 because i want then i want uh, to create uh another meshes like three three and four 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 and this will be your homework and to see the differences for uh for plots fc is like means forces this is file for forces uh that rsr it means uh acoustic some row uh, some rule this is just um, this is just mathematical trick because uh, all this stuff, all this uh, when you uh, transform, when you make this Fourier transformation from reciprocal space to real space, uh, sometimes uh, this uh, some sometimes the su the sum of this. Uh, um, Forces, it can be not zero, so it should be it should be zero because we are in equilibrium. But sometimes, because of some numerical numerical artifacts, it it sh it can be non non zero. But we know that it should be zero because we are in the state of equilibrium. That's why we uh, apply by force th this rule that uh, our results, sum of our results, sum of our forces should be zero because we are in a, a equilibrium state. Just to avoid some artifacts, some numerical artifacts. This is not physics; it's just uh, just uh, mathematical calculation. And then last uh, part, it's Madin calculation, uh, dynamical matrices. Uh, here we take this file with forces, and we solve this equation. So from that forces file, we uh, produce now we are in real space, so we produce from this uh, dynamical matrix, we produce this uh, omegas. So we get the frequencies. We get the frequencies, and uh, he, uh, so this is input file, forces, this is output file with frequencies. We will build it with uh, uh, our script, Python script. And here you see Q in band form, Q in crystal coordinate. It means just for our, uh, it, it, these two uh, comments, they uh, allow us to use well-known to us uh, pass. So it's like not cap key pass. We used it uh, for key pass, and now it's like Q pass for this propagation vectors. But, uh, but uh, uh, in general, it uh, will be the same as uh, key pass for, for all these things. So, and now let's go to the, uh, output and I want to explain you some uh, interesting things about our output. I hope you all have uh, uh, finished it. I, I also finished it, maybe. State. Yeah, I also finished it. So I want to open uh, pH. So now it will be a lot of new information. That's why maybe I will repeat it next time and uh, time uh, and uh, uh, just to uh, highlight some uh, the, just to highlight some things because we we have a very interesting output here. So from what things we should start? We should start from. Um, Yeah, here, you see. 
uh, we have this hat. It just common hat as for all uh, quantum equation equations. Uh, you have seen it a lot of times. And here is new. This is our Q vectors, Q matrix. If we have dynamical matrix for if we have two to two Q vectors, it means that it created some uniform grid of key points, Q points. Then it applied the symmetry on this key, po key point. And what we have, have we got? We got that uh, only three irreducible points. It means that uh, uh, they are irreducible by uh, symmetry. And uh, normally two by two by two, it's eight. Yeah, but here we see all, all, only three because uh, um, some of them, it's not one Q point. It represents few few Q points, like with key points. For key points, we also have a uh, lower number of key points, uh, just a uh, uh, lower number uh, comparing to just multiplying these numbers. It's our mesh. Then, this is very interesting thing. I will uh, tell you more about this on the next uh, seminar. It calls irreducible representation. It's also some mathematical thing. So it means displacement. So they take this uh, crystal, they take our crystal, and then it make displacements in some modes. You see, we have here mod one, mod two, mod three, and, and so on. So each mode is, is, is this a some uh, branch of our calculation. Uh, it can be a longitudinal mode, it can be transversible mode, it can be optical mode. Uh, and they and uh, the program shifted atoms in some uh, uh, with some logic to calculate uh, this models. And we have the number of models which will consist of the number of uh, uh, branches. By the way, how many branches do we have? For example, I have uh, 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 I have two atoms in the crystal uh, in the unit cell for, for diamond for diamond C. Two atoms. How many? How many branches we, we will get? Can you explain? How or how many models we will get? Branches, models. Never mind. How do you think? <laughs> it was just an answer, but I scrolled down. Two atoms. Um, these two atoms, no, they they not equivalent. One and two atoms, they have different coordinates. Two atoms, and they uh, they are moving in some way. No, not two. Yeah. Two mods. I think uh, there should be more than two, but I don't know why. No, it will be more. Uh, it will be for sure more two. Uh, you see, uh, we have uh, this uh, two atoms. They can. Uh, uh, they can. Uh, uh, they. Uh, um, I don't know how it is English. Stupenie Svobode. Hmm? Degrees of freedom. Yeah. So uh, each of atom has three degrees of freedom. Yeah. So uh, both atoms they have six degrees of freedom, and among these three, so three uh, three n. So the number number of branches it will be uh, three multiplied by number of uh, atoms, and then uh, among these three n branches we will have three acoustic branches. Uh, we have three acoustic branches, which goes from the center of uh, this brilliant zone, and three n minus three uh, optical branches. We will see all these branches in our equation in our pot. And here you see <laughs> the answer six. Yeah, model six. So it it produces uh, the program had produced uh, six models for each uh, q point. We have three Q points, so three propagation, uh, three uh, directions of propagation. For each, we have six models. 
So and it's uh, it's for for one for second and so on. So it we will have at least six at least eighteen. Uh, yeah, we will have at least eighteen SF calculations. But this is not common SF calculation. <laughs> it's calculations for a reducible representation with shifted uh, uh, atoms. So this calculation they will be much longer than our common SF calculation for uh, silicon. So we will have a lot of SF, SF calculations in, during this, this, this calculation. Uh, then um, it shows us, you see, computing dynamical matrix for U0, 0, 0, 0. So it, it's our center of our brilliant zone, 0, 0, Q. Uh, 49 symmetry operations, you see it calls Q goes to minus Q plus G. G is our uh, this huge uh, propagation vector. Then it shows all the 49 symmetry operations. Maybe we can speak, skip them. Then for this zero Q point, uh, we have some brilliant zone. So we, 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 we had to make some uh, SCF calculation and we have uh, no, some number of K points, you see, 72 number of K points. Uh, where have you seen this 72 number of K points? You have seen it in the SCF cycle. So this is the same number of Q points, which is was in SCF cycle. Then we make this SCF calculation. You see, we also calculate, um, here it is, irreducible representations. So we have um uh, for uh this model we have two representations means uh it's also some sync for symmetry so uh, it says that this is this q point because it's the center of brilliant zone it is high symmetry q point that's why we can uh make one calculation for three models this will be our long it will be our acoustic models and another bunch of creations will be for our optical models, three left. So, so it's three and minus three. As you understand, if you have more atoms, yeah, we will have more models and uh, creation will be higher. Then it calculates some electrical field constants because um, as I told you that our uh, optical models, they are, um, so they, um, close to some optical things. Yeah, that's why we can calculate some electrical fields. Uh, we can calculate some, um, how do I say, some uh, dielectric constants. So here it is, you see, it also calculates some electrical field, field for the structure. You don't need it. And then here is representation one. So uh, the all calculation, all calculation for six models on Q, zero Q, Q point, it was divided by two bunch of creations. One bunch have three models. It, it is like our acoustic models and you see self-consistent calculation. But self-consistent calculation with huge threshold, minus 15. This was our minus 14. Uh, I showed you this uh, threshold here. Here it is, sine minus, minus 14. So this is sine min minus 14. It works, stands for this so SF equation. Then we have another for another representation. Yeah, another uh, optical models for five six, and um, that's all. And then it calculates the frequencies. So it got six frequencies, each frequency for each model. Uh, for uh, frequencies in a zero point. So this is three, it's acoustic frequencies. This is optical. Optical, they, are, they always have higher frequency, but here we have minus. How do you think, what does it mean? So we have uh, um, negative frequency. Uh, what do you mean, uh, frequency in another direction? Frequency is just a number of uh, some... Uh, 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 it's way in another direction, but it uh, uh, oscillates and the oscillation is some real number. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, negative uh, frequencies, they are physically impossible, uh, but they are uh, possible mathematically. 
That's why we do it uh, uh, in complex numbers. We say that it's imaginary modes. We add this complex uh, uh, one e uh, square root from minus one. Uh, but here it's just some kind of artifact. So you, uh, if you will make your following calculations and you will see in gamma point um, imaginary models, so negative uh, negative frequencies, it means that something go going wrong or syst system can't exist. System can't be dynamic, dynamic stable, stable. It means that it can be uh, uh, destroyed. Uh, but if we have very very small minus uh usually it's some calculation artifact and after applying acoustics some rule i told you that acoustic, uh, that sometimes we will have some artifacts and we will apply acoustics some rule it should go and you will see that it will really go if you will make all correct then we have also a lot of symmetries maybe i can skip it wow 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 i think it's calculation for another key point yeah so uh, we have finished calculation for uh, Q point zero zero zero, but we have had three irreducible key points. Three. So we move. We are moving to another key point. Zero five minus zero five zero five. This this key point is not so symmetric as previous key point. That's why we will have. Uh, huge number of key points 378 it was 72 and now we have more even more key, point, key points so that's why this calculation will be heavier than zero calculation but it's not very heavier in the RAM it's just like 140 RAM not so huge we have a big point we uh, compute all these key points Go, 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 go. Really a lot. Three, 372 key points. Key points. And here we have representations. So uh, for previous, we have the same six models. Uh, but now these models are not so uh, symmetric as for gamma point. For gamma point, it was like two representations. Three models in one and three models in another. And now we have uh, not so good uh, system. It's not so symmet symmetric. We have four representations. It means that we will uh, provide four SF four, four huge S huge SF creations for model one, for model two, for uh, and for models three, four, and for models five, six. So we have. One SF calculation, another. So I, I hope you 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 got this thing. Maybe maybe it's uh, too uh, many information. Uh, and we see what was uh, the list of Q in the star four. It means that that irreducible Q point it represented uh, four Q, Q points. We we should have uh, eight Q points here yeah? because we have two 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 mesh. We should have eight key points. We have only three irreducible, uh, zero key point, zero, 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 center of brilliant zone. It had like, uh, uh, it was uh, self-represented. So it was just one key point for it. Then for this key point, we have four key points. And for another, so how many key points still left? Three. So for next key point, we had three. And here are some uh, frequencies. Yeah, you see that uh, we have, uh, this is our uh, mm, acoustics frequencies. Uh, two frequencies are the same. It means they are degenerated. Uh, usually it's transverse. Uh, uh, usually transverse uh, frequencies are de degenerated. It means they, they have the same uh, frequency. And here is longitudinal. Longitudinal uh, frequency, it's like uh, longitudinal branch of phonons, it have always higher uh, frequency. And three acoustic. Then the same we have for uh, the last key point. 
we apply some uh, so it has it also has a lot of so here it is uh here we have three reducible representations it means that for one SCF cycle it will calculate two models for next SCF cycle it will create another two models and then it will create yet another two models so three uh SF equations will be for it here is one SF equation Q very huge uh threshold second and third and as I predicted we have three uh, so this irreducible Q point stands for three normal normal Q points and we have in we calculate this frequency so this is what uh, makes this pH uh, this pH model it takes uh, electronic density from SCF then it creates this propagation vectors the directions in which in which directions we should make this phonons we should make these displacements and then uh it applies some symmetry calculate this q points are reducible and then calculate for each q point frequency frequency uh by solving that secure equation the determinant uh we got this Q uh, because you see it uh, uh, we have our Q points and we have our omega dependent on Q points this is what makes this pH because all we have here we have this Q points but uh, uh, you see we have Q point and we have frequency so it means that this frequency this depends on this Q point so we get uh, we get this we, we solved this equation in uh, reciprocal space then we should we have to another uh, q2 r it means q uh, reciprocal space to real space to like two like directions to 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 real space and then we should solve it for uh, real space so from here we will get forces and from here we will get real frequencies so uh, uh, this uh, force now we will do it it creates so we, we have these forces in reciprocal space it creates real space forces and then we should solve this matrix with real space forces in Madin step and now we can do the step q to r <laughs> I, I hope it was I hope you got something from from my speech but maybe it was too huge amount of information but uh, I will repeat it if you in a few next uh, uh, laboratories okay we are going to fourth step q to r we have this file q silicon q to r this is our file yeah it's very simple we just apply acoustic sum rule to destroy this numerical artifact and we uh, create so as input we will have some file with real space forces we take spaces from uh, reciprocal space and we will have real space forces let's do it let's change our script I uh, we should make very very cosmetical script uh, changes here executable we will have another model q2r and all other all this pH we should change to Q to R. Okay, we have um, some files C din zero, C din one. Maybe I see, I think you go you guess that you can guess this is dynamical matrices. Dynamical matrices for each Q point. So it's like one matrices another matrices yeah you see ah it's for first for first key point key point q blah 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 and here are some frequencies it's frequencies which we got from uh from our ph model we should to work with them uh what another files we have uh we also have q to r out Ah, it's not so interesting here we have this forces but it's crazy it's really hard to understand what is it 
we, uh, but we have this uh, forces file. Uh, then what interesting uh, things do we have? Uh, yeah, okay, maybe I don't. Ah, also, also very important. You see, uh, from SF uh, folder we got uh, this silicon safe. Yeah, this uh, silicon safe folder with uh, wave functions. Uh, with uh, charge density and so on. This is very useful. And then for uh, phonons step, we got this PH0 folder. Uh, yeah, my PH0 folder slightly uh, spoiled because I uh, because I uh, uh, launched the creation. But here you have uh, dynamical matrices for each Q point. You see, one zero, one one, one two. It's like uh, what? What means one zero, one one, one two? It means that we are going to uh, to this formula, yeah, and we go zero from zero to Q, and it will be like zero, one one divided by two, one, and so on. And that's why. And we have uh, uh, the same thing uh, here. This is our dynamical matrix. It's like one, 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 two, two, zero to one, two, two, and so on. And now we can, um, what we have done, we have um, moved this constants to real, real space, to real world. And now we should solve them. We should solve them uh, with this margin. And in this margin, we have uh, we want to uh, calculate phonon dispersion. Uh, it will be looks it will looks like uh, our bands structure. It, it, it we also can say that it's phonon bands, just not energy but frequency. Frequency to cover a vector in the band structure it was energy to cover vector. Um, here we use this this file with with forces. Then we get frequencies. Then we build it with our script and here is our path the path is standard i took the path from uh, um, i took this path from uh, uh, from uh, uh, key pass finder so it's just the path in brilliant zone to get as much as we can so let's try let's do it uh, it's like uh, mat din, so so we should uh, change executable in file and out file to mat din, and it also had yeah. If everything is okay, I hope everything is okay. Yeah, everything is okay. So I got this file. It is almost immediate. So I got this file. Uh, uh, Madin out, you see, almost no information. It just takes uh, mass from atomic time one, uh, uses mass from C key two to two five, and uh, it finished. Uh, but now we have uh, Madin modus. Uh, you remember, yes, that it was some uh, negative modus for Q uh, uh, for Q zero zero zero. It was some negative modus, and I told you that it's unphysical thing, negative modus. And but it was not physical thing; it was artifact, mathematical artifact. If it was computational artifact, and we uh, applied this acoustic sum rules, and then we have very very uh, beautiful zero in the in the gamma point for all three acoustic branches. One, two, three. This is correct, and this is uh, how you can check if you. Uh, for example, you make some phone calculations. You don't sure is was is everything okay. You should see here if it's zero, it's okay. Um, usually, you can uh, check it in pH uh, uh, stage. Uh, if you will see that in Q zero zero zero, you will have like minus ten, so you will have some huge minus. Maybe something going wrong because some small minus is okay, but huge minus is not okay. 
And you see that uh, we have uh, uh, this frequencies. We have a lot of frequencies, a uh, few different key points in that path we have made. So we take this path, then it uh, uh, creates uh, uh, frequencies in that path, and we can uh, we can uh, um, calculate it. We can uh, plot it. Here is our file. We will plot this file. Uh, in this file, we have Q point. It's Q. It's uh, pass in reciprocal space, and this is frequencies. It's like zero, zero, zero. This is our first model, and then this is huge. It's like five, five hundred and nine terahertz. It's too huge, too huge. So okay, we can do it. Uh, we should go to SSH. Uh, uh, we should go to SSH. Uh, uh, we should make SSH R twenty nine. So more move to the uh, to the node. Then we should move. We should return to our calculation folder for point two to two, and then we should uh, launch Python three dot six. We should launch pre prepared by me script. I think this is, I think it's like parachute in uh, uh, the sun forces uh, emblem. This is better. Maybe maybe this is better. You got it? Oh, dispersion. You see, it looks like generally it looks like um, some band structure. But uh, this main difference that here we have here is our gamma point. Oh, I forgot to add. I forgot to add this uh, uh, points gamma and so on. So maybe I will um, I will improve the script. So I forgot to to, to add to add, to add the uh, letters. Uh, so uh, you see that this is gamma point. This is and this is gamma gamma points. Uh, here. We have excellent point because sometimes, for example, if we have uh, some, uh, just say, uh, if you have some uh, um, modes, I want to. Um, okay. So if you have some imaginary modes, we will have something here. You have something. Uh, in negative part, and it will mean that uh, we have uh, this our uh, our structure is dynamically unstable. Then what else do we have? We have uh, the three uh, acoustic branches. This uh, the branch with the higher uh, frequency is uh, longitudinal uh, uh, longitudinal uh, oscillations, and this is transversible. Uh, transverse uh, oscillation, and we see that from uh, if we go from uh, uh, gamma to I don't remember it's like x or something gamma x k gamma l. So if we go from gamma to x and then to k, uh, here we have like two branches. We have longitudinal branch, and these branches they are degenerated. They, they degenerate, but then they uh, begin uh, behave themselves uh, independently, and then they also go here. So from one point, from one from one uh, path of this brilliant zone, we will have degenerated from uh, uh, transversible. From another, we have not degenerated. It means that uh, our uh, crystal is not symmetric in some way in this in this in this direction. So we have two two different. Creations and also we have this three uh, uh, one one two you see they also almost degenerate one two three so we have this three uh, acoustic model uh, optical models and they all degenerated here in the gamma point in gamma point they all behave themselves as one and it's uh, what I showed you uh, on. Uh, Gamma point, Q, Q point zero zero zero. 
it was like three zeros and three uh, um, three the same branches because it was like two it was two representations one representation was for, for three models it was the same zero and one 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 was for another three models it was it means that we had um, three the same numbers of uh, of these models so this is why this point is so high, so symmetric and then we uh, have more models so this is optical models but this is very root calculation because we took just two to two and um later today i will uh, send you homework uh, for uh this formal calculations but to recalculate it with series three and four 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 and to see the difference to put it maybe on one uh um on one port and to see the difference and the di difference will be rather huge so it means some kind of convergence so we can also try some convergence on these two points but it will take time because for two to two we had three reducible uh, uh, Q, Q points for uh, more than smash, we will have more irreducible Q points. It will, it will take more time. So you should maybe stay them and wait some time to get, maybe it will take more than hour and you should switch to long, long QL. I don't know. I think that maybe for 444, it uh, will take more than hour. On eight core. Mm -hmm. so remember correctly, you presented this uh, idea about uh, classical one dimensional chain of methods. Then you saw the equation you got this kind of real result. Uh, no, this is a real. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, this, this, this is pretty. Uh, ah, you mean, um, you, um, we have wave vector. Wave vector is uh always uh is always brilliant zone. But we have these frequencies, and we had to to get these frequencies real frequencies. Understand? We have brilliant zone, but we have these frequencies. By real frequencies to to compare with something, so they will be in gigahertz. Yeah, it's something we can calculate by to measure with our uh, instruments, with our equipment. Okay, fine. Uh, anyway, uh, you, you mentioned that uh, you yes, yes. How is it based? It's not centered. Uh, this is. Hmm? uh it's all brilliant um it's the same as we don't for uh um electronic creation so we just choose the path the 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 uh you you see we have uh, we have some brilliant zone uh this this brilliant zone it's super primitive it's this is the most primitive brilliant zone but here we have brilliant zone for uh Cubic uh, for cu uh, for cubic uh, uh, silicon, and for cubic silicon we have uh, rather. Uh, I can show you it, by the way. Uh, where it is? Uh, uh, yeah, it will be. It will be very very. It's it's the same brilliant zone as we used in uh, our. Uh, Electronic structure calculations. So it is. Uh, here it is. So and I choose this uh, this numbers. So this is a brilliant zone for a cubic system, and that primitive thing it was for just for chain. Yeah. Uh, this this model this uh, it uh, uh, we can compare it with acoustics so, so we, we, with uh, sound we can see its uh, uh, tangents and we can see its uh, uh, derivative and then we can say that it's some speed of uh, sound in the crystal so this is this longitudinal wave this is transversible 
Yes, but this is is this is like uh, uh, speed of speed of sound. Like you can estimate it from from this branch. For optical branches, uh, we can calculate uh, some electrical uh, um, some dielectric properties. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, usually okay for a huge number of atoms, this is only two atoms, and we have three n. So, so we have six models. We have three and three. If we have 20 atoms, we will have 60 models. And we will have three and 57 optical models. So it will be some spaghetti thing for optical models. Yeah, we will have a lot of optical models, but only three. We usually have only three, uh, not usually, but we always have three, uh, uh, three uh, acoustic models. And we can have by physically more because we have only two dire three directions of pro propagation, longitudinal and two transversible. Well, we can uh, maybe we can finish.